Here's one example. We work with a group that we call Youth at Promise. Tamara Johnson is a gifted individual and millennial who has had a checkered history in herself. She ended up on the street as a teenager, living and working with others affected by addiction, trauma, and mental illness. She was fortunate enough to turn her life around after one night in jail and has since become motivated to work with and help those who are in recovery and trying to stabilize their lives as she is with herself and her, with her counterparts. She became a peer counselor certified to work with troubled youth and has spent the last 10 years working with youth in psychiatric wards to help stabilize them and prepare them for return to the broader community. She came to us and asked for help to refocus her life and to amplify her effectiveness. Jointly, we worked to address the needs, uh, isolate the causes that she was sensitive to, inventory her assets, and to formulate an action plan. The result of that was the design and development of a program she calls You Are Not Alone. It targets seventh and eighth graders that are at the most critical time in their school careers to determine whether they will graduate or not. This represents a grassroots initiative that with help where needed can help move street wisdom from talk to walk. We have other examples of similar initiatives with those working to humanize homelessness, to end racial inequities, to promote interfaith dialogue, and to apply art and cultural gifts to create compassionate environments in our neighborhoods. We are an inclusive network of people and organizations seeking to elevate compassionate living in our region. Please check us out at our website and let us know what splashes in your chest and how we can help. Thank you.